Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're taking a look at the West Point Toy Fair that we recently attended and today I am delighted to have with me my friend Andy who you may have seen on some of the recent bubblegum card trading card videos that we've been doing on the channel. So hello Andy. Hi, yeah, I don't just collect trading cards. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so yeah, Andy and like myself has got quite an eclectic collection of all sorts of um, collectibles. Um, oh, what sort of stuff do you collect, Andy? Oh, God, bits of all sorts, man. Um, yeah, comics, magazines, books, records over the years, not so much now. Uh, yeah, toys, ephemera. Everything. All sorts, bits of all sorts. Absolutely. And, uh, well, we've been sort of going to these shows on and off together for, well, 20, 30 years, oh, something since like the that. 80s. Yeah, since the 80s. Yeah, yeah, in fact, yeah, so quite, quite some time. Um, I thought this particular West Point, I mean, when we pulled up, the car park was packed, wasn't it? And yeah. we were we were bang on time. It yeah. opened at ten thirty. We were literally there, you know, within five minutes of that, and we were quite surprised at how busy the car park was. Uh -huh. um, so there was no queue. We went pretty much straight, straight in. in, and um, uh, well, yeah, it was. Uh, we were sort of. Well, we weren't really sure if it was going to be well attended for dealers yeah. um, and all punters really yeah. because Typi of the time typically the summer one is a little bit down on dealers and this was slightly mm. but i think it, overall it has it exceeded our expectations it in did some ways. definitely yeah, yeah. I, I for one i think this for me personally this was the best one i've been in having been to the, the last three really? um this was quite good this was a display case i don't know if you saw it 65 pound no, and it was it, it had gone i think it must have gone in the first hour Snapped up. because yeah. display cases don't often turn up like that the mm. ones I've had in the past I've bought from West Point historically but they were all like handmade and the person who used to make them doesn't seem to go to the fairs anymore mm. but it was quite rare to see a nice display case like that and I almost bought it to be honest <laughs> and then I couldn't figure out where I was going to put it so, <laughs> <laughs> so I decided against it okay. um, uh, this is another dealer I wanted to mention because they're right by the door so as I filmed, I filmed all the stalls. This is like a 40 minute video. So yeah. And there's all sorts of stuff. There's good die casts, there's some vintage Star Wars comics. There's a real cross section of, of groovy stuff to see this time. But this dealer here, right as you come inside the door, he's always got really good stuff. Um, very little of it has actually got a price on. And three times I went back to say, can I have a to see if I can have a look at that Chipperfield Circus gift set? Yeah. And there was no one there. So I just don't understand, I you know, know. You do get that. It's a bit frustrating. Quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Hunt the actual stall holder. It, it can be like that. Maybe he was off, you know, looking. But I did go back be. a few times, you know, um, to try and find, uh, to see, you know, to just ask him about it. Yeah. Um, it's one of the uh, the series I'd like to sort of try and get into is the Chipperfield Circus Corgi. Yes. And to start it is just the original gift set. And they are plentiful, um, but it's finding one at the right sort of price, really, Indeed. you know. Yeah, they do. Um, they were made in big quantities. Absolutely, big yeah. But they are good fun. And I actually had one for my birthday from a door last year. She got me the, the booking office, which is mm -hmm. quite nice, you know. Yeah. And that sort of yeah, started the bug for me a little bit. A little bit of Sabutio yeah, there. Yeah, vintage Sabutio. I don't see a lot of that nowadays. Um, and it wasn't it wasn't dear. Mm -hmm. It was not dear, that. Yeah, um, depends on the teams. Uh, that, uh, true, yeah. Um, I, the stuff that I saw, that I didn't really go into the detail on the teams, but it was a lot of the generic stuff, like yeah. the goals and that. They some weren't the, cheap. Some of the trophies as well. They, they did uh, yeah. trophies. The League Cup is the rarest of the trophies. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Well, that's interesting. Um, so a typical West Point, lots of die-cast stuff. Um, lots of train stuff and we'll see it all oh, always, yeah. um, you know I've got a renewed interest in old matchbox stuff and um, that was really all I spent my money on I spent about 70 quid there this this time round uh -huh. but I picked up plenty of of nice bargains I think there was loads there much more than last time round so I don't know you know why I got lucky mm. this time but it was there increasingly seen a lot more Lego these days yes over the past few years yes it's um, but like I don't know it's not like the collectible Lego, it tends to be modern stuff, doesn't it? Um, yes. It doesn't tend to be what you might expect, like the 50s, 60s or 70s Lego sets. Although, saying that, the only sort of vintage Lego I collect is the old Lego space. Right. There was none of that there. I mean, right. not a single little play set that I saw. Not. I think I saw maybe no, I one original minifig. I, 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 you know, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't have looked. Don't, but yeah. I don't collect Lego. Lego but. but that was, um, you know, I, just not around at the moment. Right. Um, lots of this sort of stuff. Tables. Plastered oh, with hot masses wheels, and masses of hot yeah. wheels. Yeah. It's like three for a five or a lot of it. Isn't there was it? a lot to that. Yeah, I, I remember taking um, Sam to shows like this when he was young, 
and you know he would have ten pound. He'd get a lot for his money. Yeah. Did you see this store? I did. This store had some pretty premium stuff. Interesting didn't he? stuff. Yeah, I asked him if he had any um, Tony Hancock Radio yes. Times covers. He said he has had them. He always has a lot of interesting stuff. This film. Yeah, yeah, and beautifully presented compared yeah. to a lot of dealers. Look at it; it's immaculate. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, really well presented he stuff. It has a lot of vintage, and I mean vintage yeah, board games. Absolutely. As you can see there. Yeah. Yeah. They're really something. Yeah, he's been going there for years. Yeah, yeah, some good stuff there. The stuff, sort of stuff you only see in your Robert Opie books. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he's, he's, and look at the condition. In fact, Opie buys off him. Oh, really? Is yeah, that right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that London Palladium ashtray. Yeah. That's really, it's, it's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very good store, yeah. that one. Vintage annuals. Oh, well, that's something interesting. Hmm. Typical West Point store, you yeah, could say. <laughs> yeah, more, more modern die casts. Yeah. yeah all this stuff. Does have its collectors. But, uh, yeah. But it seems to be more people getting rid of it than looking to buy it, mm, in my opinion. I don't know how well it sells at least. Yeah, but I don't know. There's a lot of it there. You just sell a lot of that to yeah. sort of cover your expenses, a really, of, don't yeah, you? you know? modern, modern, modern stuff, Oxford diecast. Nice range of... Uh, Silver and Bronze Age. Yeah, there was on that store. Yeah, on there was store. a few, yeah. Um, a little bit of retro. He had the uh, yeah. uh, Palatoy Dalek. Yeah. Talking Dalek there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a nice Neil Adams Green Lantern. In that I time. saw that one, yeah. actually, yeah. Burn the Pokemon cards. Yeah. And some more. Yeah. Went through a little 80 page giant. A bit, bit warm for me, but I still, yes. still well, pick up the odd giant. Yeah. I like him. But. Uh, Nice to see. Yeah, it was the only store that had anything. Yeah, absolutely. Like this time. There it there is. It is. Yeah, good one, the there. Yeah, a classic <laughs> of its sort. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I think he had about fourteen quid on it. it wasn't it? Was ridiculous money yeah. for that? You know. Yeah, quite a nice store. Mm, it always does. A mixture of old and new. Mm. But, uh, interesting to see. There we go. Diecast Evan. It was, yeah. So all these little trays. <laughs> in a lot of cases, they come out of old matchbox collector's cases. Uh -huh. And people ditch the cases which don't generally survive. And then they're perfect for toy fairs. Right. Um, that's the, the, the those blue ones there. Those are um, those are from the matchbox cases. All right. They're made to measure. And of course, they fit all the other small cars of that sort, like the, the, like the little corgi ones and the TV ones yeah. and that. But some dealers were fantastic with the pricing, you know, like two quid each or three quid. Or, as I said, I got some of the very earliest um, Matchbox toys for like a fiver. I was absolutely gobsmacked. And I'll show you the store mm -hmm. when it comes up. I couldn't believe it. And the guy said he wasn't an expert, but, you know, I was happy to have those unboxed because they're just so expensive boxed. Right. And they were like, you know, 25% of their actual value if I was to try and track them down on eBay. Yeah. So I was really happy. Um, lots for the loose figure collector uh, yeah. this this um, nice. this show. I mean, there was loads to go through. Um, and I, I saw lots of um, like Ghostbusters and some He-Man stuff there was, uh, more so than in as usual. Um, and I said later on, you'll see it, but even some vintage Star Wars, much more than I'd seen in ages. Uh -huh. Even so, you know, one guy had six or seven carded, which is like, wow. Do you remember this? That was the, the Mego, um, the Mego share, share dressing room, room yeah. yeah. Which I think went, room. didn't it? As it sold, did I it? Didn't. I didn't. When we went around a oh, second time, that, I didn't see it. Here's a close up of it, yeah. yeah. Mego share dressing room. Yeah, that is, I think that's rare over here anyway. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe not so rare in the States, but he had, um, yeah, <laughs> 60 pounds on it. I thought that was cheap. Mm. But I mean, I don't know. It's obviously a niche market, but. It's Mega, you know, Mega. Yeah, it is. Now, I think this may be the store where I ended up spending a few quid with this guy. Oh. Uh, it might be this one, I can't remember. Yeah, I think this was the store because I remember going back and looking at some of those uh, uh, other Matchbox ones, the Maseratis and that, because they were cheap. But they had one too many faults for me to, to go for them, you know, because oh. even though I, you know, I don't mind picking up the Matchboxes loose, um, I still want them to be fairly nice condition. Uh, there we are. That was actually some of the ones that I ended up buying. Oh, so, uh, yeah, some nice uh, commercial ones, mm -hmm. London Evening News and stuff like that. Yeah. Brilliant. And I bought the refreshments van as well. Oh like, yes. Uh, 
Yes, I picked up that refreshment. So I, I, that, he had 20 on that one. I mean, he gave me discount at the end of about 20%. But that one regularly seems to go for about 60 to 70 quid, and the transfers are really nice on it. And it lifts up a little flap. As you can see inside as well. Another it's, one. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's a lovely little. It's top. absolutely perfect. Yeah. More so of, I was so more pleased of his to get stock that. Stock looks quite yeah. decent condition as well. It's not bad. Yeah. I'm spotting one or two things. And he was there with his kid. um. He was there with his son helping out. Right. It's quite nice to see. You don't often see Baker's Baker. stuff, and that was quite a nice display of it as well. Yeah, I never had Baker as a kid. I think I, I did have something. Might have been better builder. Mm. So a similar thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah more matchbox by the million. No, sorry, yeah. Hot Wheels. By the hot million. Wheels, yeah. I think it was much worse by the million as well. But even more Hot Wheels. Yeah, there sure was a lot of it. Yeah. I quite like that some of those there. They're like reissued Matchbox stuff, but, uh -huh. um, you know, you, they, they do look really nice. Yeah. They re releasing the, the cars, but, yeah. You know, I don't want to go down that alley. I'd rather just stick to the originals and <laughs> leave it at that. Yeah, remember the sixties Hot Wheels as a kid? Yeah, that's Christ when they Christmas nineteen sixty nine. Yeah, Hot Wheels. And they eventually, you know, were the downfall of Matchbox. You know, they mm. all joined together as one now, but yeah. uh, back then. Saw that little bubble car there. I used to collect those. He had twelve pound on that, which wasn't bad. But uh -huh. when I picked it up, it was once again it was a bit too borderline to right. to actually pick up, um, even if he would dropped it to a ten or something. Yeah. There you go. Modern makers again. Yeah. Plenty of that stuff. Yeah. A little pro yeah, shop pro golf shot set. Golf. Not the Arnold Palmer version, but mm. uh, uh, yeah, still a Marks one. And miscellaneous toys, three quid. Most of the stores had boxes like that, didn't they? And there was yeah. there was good stuff in there if you were prepared to take the time to go through it. Yeah. Um, some of those can turn up some real gold. Loads of train sets and train, that. Yeah. stacks of it. And there was plenty of people looking at it as well. Sure. That's a 90s Star Wars. Yeah. Nice early airfix kit on yeah. top there. It's like a 60s one. Mm -hmm. There we go. 90s. 90s stuff, yeah. Anderson stuff. Amazing to think how old that actually is now, yeah. isn't it? Some of that. Yeah. 90s gear. Wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> 150 a pop. Yeah. There you go. Fill your boots. <laughs> I said there was something for every pocket. That is what the show is good for. Yeah. But there wasn't a lot of youngsters there. It was predominantly, you know, the middle age and above man. Mostly. Uh, predominantly, yeah. There wasn't a lot of youngsters. A few, uh, obviously, but not many. There's just Super Nintendo games there, a little Game Boy. Okay. The retro stuff, you, you get a smattering of it each show, don't you? But not a lot. Um, I, think, I think we'll see it later on, but one guy had a, a, a boxed Spectrum, ZX Spectrum, oh, yeah. plus two, which is quite nice. I didn't see how much he had on it, but the box was sadly faded. But there's the original one. A few comics there mm -hmm. and what have you. My Little Pony, then keep that. <laughs> As it's collectors. Male and female. Yeah. The Ecto one. Yeah. That's a reissued one. Uh -huh. I heard him say, but he only had 15 quid on it. All right. It's not bad if you're looking for one. There you go. Ponting Bridge. Airfix, yeah. Some slightly better stuff here. Yeah. I think we've seen this again. guy before, haven't we? He's got yes. some fairly good stuff. Yeah. York and Evil Van. Yeah. Yeah, Toy Hunter. Toy Hunter, Nick yeah. Mulford. Yeah, always he, has interesting he stuff, does, Nick. Yeah, really always nicely presented as yeah. well. Yeah, always interesting. And you're a lovely fella as well. Yeah. Really nice guy. But yeah, yeah so there was something I was looking at on this store, an action figure. We might see it in a minute. Mm. It was a Matchbox one. All right. Um, I did a series called Fighting Furies. Mm. Came out in about 1976. Um, very nice. Don't own any because they're a bit pricey. I did ask him the price of it. Not yeah, he had some nice matchbooks there, but they were all yeah. <laughs> pricey, unfortunately. Yeah. A bit, bit out of my range and for some of those. I do like the Rollomatics. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. 
There it is. There's the pirate oh, figure, yeah. Fighting Furies one. I did ask the price of that, 145. That was it. Yeah. A little bit too much for me, but uh, there, there were nice line of toys. They did mm. cowboy ones as well. All right. Yeah, well, half a dozen. Yeah, in, definitely in one of the the better class, high class stalls here. Yeah. I like the little, uh, the little Britain's play set as well. They're a cowboy. Mm. They're quite fun. Box air fix vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen things I had as a kid yeah, there. The safari, um, safari. Yeah, Afri nice, Staffan Safari it? one I had that as a kid. It's really good. Yeah, there it is. It's with its box, all originals. But yeah, good store. Definitely. Always, yeah. always nice stuff. And some very scarce stuff as well, mm. very unusual. Yeah. A lot of Timpo figures and all sorts, yeah. Yeah, I took my time having a good look at that. Uh-huh. I don't know if you saw down the box at the end, he had some loose Megos as well. Did he? Yeah, he had a Dr. McCoy. Oh, he had um, no, I didn't see 40 on it. I owned an art because it looked complete. All right. You might even see it in a minute. A oh, guy's got it in his hand, but oh, he didn't yes. buy it. Um, and I went and had a look, and he had, I think he had 40 on it. Uh -huh. Yeah. There was a, a Joker there for 28 on another stall. A complete Joker, and I wish I'd picked that yeah. up now. Um, trying to get a few Megos back. Yeah. You've got the Joker, haven't you? Yes. He had a Joker and he had the Penguin without I did. the jacket. I bought a Joker at one of these West Point fairs yeah, yeah, years yeah. ago. It does turn out. It does turn out. Though, yeah. but they're off. really tough to find online at the bought moment. Bought it off Jim Stevenson. Half oh, Jim, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, this site's always got interesting stuff. Yeah. And he's a nice fella as well. Now I'm close on the Kojak Walkie Talkie. Kojak Walkie Talkie. We both saying, how cool is mm. that? 45 <laughs> quid. It's like box damage on the top. Yeah. I was tempted with that. Yeah. You don't yeah. often see that. I love Kojak yeah. stuff. Yeah. Not that there's a lot of it to get. But. It's a Migo or Palatoy. I think uh, it would have been this country, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Boxing ring. Yeah. Two loose figures. It's quite cool to see. But yeah, it's a good store, his. Yeah. I like the Italian job so Yeah. But yeah, the Kojak uh, walkie talkie was interesting to see. Don't often, I think, the first no. I've ever seen. Chad and that would have been British. Yeah. Yes, Chad yeah. Valley. Yeah, they did a few Kojak things. Target, target game. Kojak the target, the target game. game. And there's the board game as board well. Game as well. Yeah, which yeah. I had as a kid. Yeah. Um, there's the annual. And then the, the, the Corgi Junior and the main Corgi yeah. toy, of which there's a couple of variations, I think, of the larger size toy. Yes, exactly. Like with and without a policeman and different coloured. Yeah, it's Kojak, Kojak with or without a hat or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, that's I think yeah. it. Was something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Still, I think you know, there, there's th two or three really good episodes of Kojak mm -hmm. um, per season that are really outstanding. And there was one I watched recently, and it was set during a heat wave. Um, I think it's a season one one, and I couldn't believe how good it was. It was <laughs> fantastic. They were all really. They were trying to track down a serial killer. Um, and they were really struggling with it, a bit, bit, bit like us recently in the summer. Yeah. And um, it was so edgy. It was just brilliant yeah. TV. I, it really, really was. I nice. still think Kojak holds up well. Yeah. Out of those 70s cop shows. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's grittier than many. More than you, yeah, more than you think. It's like yeah. the American Sweeney almost, isn't it? There's no fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of them end on really deadpan yeah. endings, don't yeah, they, yeah. you know? Um, and, and I like that. Um, certainly, I've got yeah, a favourite of mine. Uh -huh. Definitely of the American ones. I think followed by Rockford, and that's my next favorite, yeah. which is uh, not really crime, but detective. Yeah. It? But, yeah. Uh -huh. Futurama. A bit of Futurama, yeah. yeah. So a few of the earlier toys are quite difficult to find. In nice condition, they're difficult. Yes. Have you still got your ones? Like yes, yeah. I have. Yeah. 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 This is good. They're tough to find in nice condition, yeah. I think, now. The, the old metal ones and the bender. Various Bender ones, yeah. the, the premiums, you know, yeah. 60, 70. I've got some of them. I, don't, I haven't got the range that you've got, but uh, I do have some. But yeah, this guy had some nice. Yeah, some Doctor Who stuff on there. Doctor Who box set, and yeah. the Keys of Marinus one there, which uh, later on in the day was bought by our friend George. Indeed, he did, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, very, yeah. that very set. Incredible. 20 quid. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? And that's not bad. Incredible that they even released it, yeah. thinking about it, that one, that yeah. Keys of Marinus set. But Amazing. 
90s stuff. Yeah. A lot of this we had in the shop when it was all brand new, when Some it was being it, released, yeah. you know. Yeah, I remember it. stuff there. There was, yeah. The guy had quite some pretty good paper items, didn't he? He did. Those, uh, eagle yeah. puzzles, which I think George bought, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and a, a valiant book of flight, All right, which I think is right. from 72, okay. yeah, which I haven't seen before he bought that off him. Andy, if you're missing an odd dice, <laughs> die. Yeah, I, I didn't buy much at the fair, but no. um, I did buy something off that guy, actually. I bought Yogi Bear Jigsaw. Oh, there you go. Yeah, cool. 1960s Yogi Bear Jigsaw. Oh, Don't cool. buy many jigsaws, but no. it, was a very, it was a good price. It was a nice condition box. So Brilliant. I picked that up. It's nice when you come across the yeah. just clear. It wasn't out. even on his stall. It was, it was underneath on the floor. All oh, right. Yeah, so spotted it. Have you finished it? <laughs> no, mate. It's, too to rent to do it's 50 pieces, it's too hard for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Struggling, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that George jigsaw I left behind, that was 500 pieces. I remember was it? picking that up. <laughs> Wendy said she would have done it. Yeah, said, oh, yeah I'll, I'll do that. She t likes a good jigsaw. <laughs> We're in the dining room table gone for a week, but you know. <laughs> I wish I'd picked that one up. I don't even know how much she had on it, probably near five or something, Maybe. which would have been well, well worth it. Yes, yeah, nice stuff. If it's there next time, I'll grab it. Yeah. More Hot Wheels. More modern, modern, modern. As you can see, they must have massive stocks of Hot Wheels. Mm. There were deals on it and most yeah, stores that had it. Absolutely. A mishmash of a store. Yeah. Such a variety. You, know, you can tell the ones who are real pros. Yeah. They're doing it all the time. Yeah. Cool e commercials. I remember that line of golden oldies, they're quite nice. I used, mm. to, like that. I had, used to have all those. Did you? And there was 12 in the set. Yeah, and I got rid of them now, but I used to have them. Mm. They displayed quite well, but not the same as having the originals, of course. No, it? no indeed. Save with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> And bits and pieces and dolls' houses and stuff like that, yeah. I think it was. It can sometimes be worth going through those boxes, you, you know, never can real, tell yeah, what you're going to find. You're going to be a real crate digger with that sort of stuff. Yeah, you have, yeah. Lego, lots of Lego. Yeah, I was trying to look and see what the, make those boxes were at the back of action figures. I thought they were might be Atlantic or something like that, but I don't mm. think they were. Atlantic were an Italian maker. Did a lot of sets in the 70s. Used to get them over here. They did some weird sets. Mm. They did four historical sets. They did one, ones of uh, the Chinese Revolution, Mussolini, Hitler and the Black Shirts, mm. and uh, a Russian Revolution set. Wow. Really strange. Yeah. yeah. Like, like Airfix sets, you know, but historical ones, four historical wow. ones. Really weird. But it wasn't then. No. <laughs> Shame, because I would have been interested. <laughs> Just for the weirdness value. Yeah. Don't know if those loose ones are valuable or not. I don't know anything really about Hot Wheels. No, not, not really my thing. No. 
We just know that if you liked Hot Wheels, there was a lot to see. There was tons. That is the yeah. basic. I mean, not real vintage stuff. You know, we're not talking red lines or anything like that. No. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of modern stuff. Yeah. But this is pretty much as you walk around the hall in order. This is exactly, exactly as I filmed it, mm -hmm. uh, stall by stall. I think we're getting to near the ha halfway, we are over the halfway point now, okay. going along the back sort of wall. So we've done the first sort of half of it now. Uh -huh. yeah, Captain Scarlet, mail away torch, penguin biscuits. Yeah. Is that a 90s torch? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to say, yeah, yeah. it couldn't be a 61 90s. for 15 quid. Yeah, not a rare item. No, but this is all mail away stuff on yeah. the store, pretty much. Yeah, and he had loads of it. All right. All premium stuff, uh -huh. like you see promo things. Right, so it was. As you can see lots and lots of bargains if you're prepared to go rummaging. Yeah. Not a lot to say, it's just endless. Isn't just it? endless it new stuff. Is and, endless, uh, lots yeah. of stores competing with each other. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And this is a bit more our sort of thing, you know, the action oh, more yes. modern action figures and oh, that. Yes. Well this is Steve Chamberlain's store. Oh yes, Steve. Steve, yeah. Steve in the background. He was very busy as he, he always was, is. Yeah. He's the only guy with stocks of the Funko, and he? Uh, the yeah, Funko he was Pops. really. Yeah. yeah. In the store. Yeah. And he always has a little crowd around that. But yeah. he always has the very latest action figures. He does, yeah, he gets them in his shop in uh, in Bristol Global yeah. Co Global Collectibles. That's it. That's and the man. Known Steve for many years, haven't yeah. we? Yes. Nice guy. The finder of all those Anakins that time. Oh, yes. 8,000, 8, he said. I asked him about it recently because I only ever thought it was 4,000. Mm -hmm. so There's 8,000. Wow. Yeah, in, in France. Yeah. 8,000 Anakin figures. Oh, there's the Mego. Um, there's the Mego Joker. Joker. I think it was 28 on it. Uh, I thought it was all right. Bag. It was complete as yeah. well. And he had a penguin. I don't remember the price, but the penguin was missing the coat. All right. So um, I wish I, I do wish I picked up the Joker now. Oh, um, nice figure. Got my Spider Man one up there. <laughs> This guy had some good stuff. Uh -huh. Quite presentable, some gift sets and that. Yeah, nice condition. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of tatty stuff there. It was, yeah, yeah, it's true. Trading cards. Yeah. Didn't really see people buying that, to be no. honest. I mean, the sort of stuff I go for, barely to be seen. No. no I think someone had a Space 1999 set, the Americans. All oh, right. Yeah. Space oh, 1999 something. set was there. That's really about the only vintage set I saw. Yeah, this guy had some of the uh, lovely Marvel Legends figures. Have you mm -hmm. seen those? I really mm -hmm. like them. Three and three quarter inch scale. Oh yeah, I know. I really like. Them. I just wish I got on board a bit sooner because it's you know we're fifty of them now, so yes, they, it's like a, quite a task. Throwing them out. But they're they're really nice. Uh, I like them. You know, I would have just bought one. I opened them. To yeah. be honest. Yeah. The Thor there is gorgeous. Classic Thor. Yeah, they're really nice. <laughs> but yeah, even you know vintage collection and that there was there was something for everyone. Uh -huh. yeah, it really was, you know. Let's go, Jack. Oh, there he is, speak of the, With that. Speak of the bald headed actor. Yeah. Nice Britain show jumping set. Yeah. I do like Britain's stuff. Yeah, it's quality. Some isn't of it's it? really yeah. nice. I like the Swap It's Knights. They're good, no, they're mm. lovely figures. Yeah.
couple of PlayStation games I was checking there, but nothing special. <laughs> Castle football figures. Yeah. I realised I've been filming for half an hour, so I'm like trying to hurry it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the store with the box spectrum. I think I do. All oh, right. I do feature it in a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, it's the later version, but still quite nice to yeah. see it. Uh, there we are. Nice boxed one there. Yeah. We, uh, it says we do take cards. Yeah, there some you of go. It actually does. Yeah. Most of them were. It's a cash economy at West Point, on the whole, isn't it? A few yes. of the bigger dealers yes. are okay with yeah. card, but it's mainly a cash environment. It does seem to be. Modern stuff again. I think that's Lego Dimensions or something like that. It's yeah, called. something like that. Predominantly, what they sold on that store does have its collectors. Yeah, yeah, for sure. More Lego minifigures here. Yeah. Imagine collecting those and be, be a lifetime's ambition, a lifetime yeah. job. <laughs> I'm not that was the store with yeah. the one odd spaceman there. I picked him up. Oh yes, he had like two, three quid on his. figures. Yeah. The Marvel ones. DC ones. More train sets. Mm. Spare us, Jules. Well, there's a toy and train fair. It was, yeah. That so is what it's billed <laughs> as. Yeah, yeah, you have to remember that. <laughs> Not our thing, but... No. Uh, great for people it is not, not knocking it it's the closest we can yeah. get to our sort of thing and there's always a little bit isn't there yeah. which is, makes it worth us yeah. going it still had some good stuff yeah I thought it was quite a nice collection of, uh, of uh, and yeah. top quality it was yes, all nice nice stuff. which is you know if you're going to buy this stuff you want it to be perfect don't you yeah, there's no point in buying no. stuff that isn't no way yeah those lovely alien re-released figures mm. really nice those yeah, they are. yeah really good I think it's the 40th anniversary one, something they were. Yes, yeah, something like very that. Very nice yeah. indeed. Because, of course, the, the Kenner were going to release them back in the day. They only ever got to prototype form, didn't they? Yes. For the small ones. For the small ones, yeah. yeah. Star Wars. For this size. is interesting. So this guy does, these are obviously designed for die cast predominantly. But mm, and trains. You'd think um, GW Acrylic might be worth having a stall here one day, you mm. know. Um, I know he does do, uh, Christian does do the odd show. All right. And these are good as well. These are, these are little... Um, tents with different brands on. I picked up a cool one and a matchbox oh, yeah. one. Yeah, um, to put in my display case. Nice. Quite nice. Only a quid each. I thought that was all right. You know, very reasonable. Yeah. And military stuff. Yeah. A fair bit of that. I've never seen the appeal per se. It's, it's yeah. It's quite niche. Although yeah. apparently I think sales of military stuff. It's been, still all right. been rising a little bit, but it's always kind of been a poor relation, really, in the diecast world. Yeah, I know there's yeah. a few matchbox ones, and there's a yeah. few corgi tanks and stuff. I had a few as a kid uh-huh. myself, definitely. Had a few few things yeah. like that. The airfix stuff, really, not the not the diecast. All right, airfix vehicles and play sets, which I do still have, knocking about mm. somewhere, all still boxed as well. But they're not worth a fortune, most no. of them. They're quite common, most of the die-cast, not the uh, the airfix vehicles. Some of the later ones are worth mm. more. But that's what I can, tended to stick to, the HO00 scale. Yeah. Fairly nice stuff on this. Yeah. Make sure of old and new. Yeah.
Buying toys. There we are. Didn't see much in the way of TV and film toys this time no, around. Now I think much. about it. No. Um, I didn't see any like fab ones or anything. I saw a Batmobile. No. Very not, little. Not in the at way this of one. No. no. There's a guy who does have that sort of stuff, but he wasn't at this fair. Right. Yeah, it wasn't a lot. No, and as for, you know, vintage Dalek stuff or anything like that, Doctor Who, forget it. Yeah. You just don't see that at these fairs anymore. No, I think we, the most we saw was that one talking Dalek. Yeah, no, Palatoy one. That yeah. was about it. Nice Matchbox Super King stuff on there. Yeah. Again, mixture of old and new. Yeah. Mostly new. Yeah. <laughs> Just what we wanted, Andy, the dolls house. Dolls stuff. and teddies, yeah. That's there was, it. There's usually a fair bit of that stuff there, not yeah. so much this time. No. Wallace and Gromit, oh, there's, you know, for yeah. the lady collectors. <laughs> Come the, you know, once we've been there a couple of hours, it had really thinned down. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I could get around. You could see just in the background there. It's not massively, it's not heaving, but it was comfortable to go around really at your yes, leisure, wasn't it? Was it was fine. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't jam packed, and the stalls were far enough apart to be yeah. comfortably browsed. Yeah, little lead figures. Yeah, don't matter how vintage they are. Do you see those old games? They're like old, like. D and D or yeah. you know campaign games, but really early yeah. ones from the late seventies, yeah, early eighties. Well yeah, I saw that. Another guy's mm. jacket as well. Yeah, His jumper. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, that is niche. It yeah, is. Corgis, no? Yeah, Corgis. The Was spot. this the store that had the repro um, uh, mini moke? Yes, there it is. Is this the store? That's yeah. a repro. So that's a, it looks nice. Oh, he's yeah. even pointing to it. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. at look at that repro. Yeah. Forty. Most of the stuff on the store was original, but there were one, one, one or two, two repro or three bits. repro vehicles. He only wanted 40 quid for it, which yeah. on the face of it is probably okay yeah. as a filler, yeah. I suppose. You know. Most of his stuff was original. Yeah. More Lego men. Some, some 90s stuff you don't see at these fairs. Yeah. Like G.I. Joe. That's true. Look at the small card of G.I. Joe figures. Don't yeah. see those. This is, uh, I think these are Britons, aren't they? The farm animals. They look, yeah, pretty Loads much like of They're really beaten up. But yeah. low boxes and boxes of them. Yeah. Got a few of those actions, didn't you? Oh, I did for a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah that's one I left behind because they were doubles. I did. That's the only other thing I bought. Yeah, they were, they were quite, reasonably, again, quite reasonably, reasonably priced. Yeah, or action comics from 1976. What's the mm. pre-ban issues? Yeah, nice. Because the uh, it was taken off sale for about five or six weeks and right. came back in a neutered form because mm. it was a, considered too, uh, too violent for kids. 
this person had some great stuff, ridiculous prices on it. They're really out of this year. Totally out of touch. Uh-huh. You're not even in the middle ground. They were just yeah. completely high end. Yeah. That's why they had such a good looking display because nobody bought anything. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. stores are like a, look, see the same things every time. Yeah. It's like a travelling museum, but, not a store. Yeah, that's it. They just yeah. over. Jim used to be a bit like that. Yeah, yeah. He would just put a really high price on and wait for one person to yeah. come along to buy yeah. it. He wasn't in the market of turn it over mm. I guess to make make money and yeah there's a couple of people at that Westport but on the whole everywhere I went to and every person I bought off they were volunteering discounts mm. you know they were glad of the business yeah. and you know you didn't even have to ask they no. were expecting it to, yeah, to come off yeah, they, which is like amazing good yeah I got, a, I got a discount on the action comics so. yeah oh, that's good The last sort of row now, just before we head towards the door. Oh yes. But yeah, it was a, an interest, interesting mixture. It was. I'm really glad we went. Yeah, uh, they on were, the whole now, little, because we weren't expecting much, were we? No, but there's you know, there were little bargains to be had, little mini gems here and there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pleased we went. It was worth a trip. Yeah. Captain Laser there. Yeah. <laughs> From the Major Matt Mason line. It's the only Major Matt Mason thing I saw all day, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. There he is. That's a sign. That's a line I absolutely loved as a kid. Mm. Love Major Matt Mason. Got a few pieces. Yeah, I know, yeah. Really, really great toys. A little bit of modern gaming stuff on the other. Uh, I don't think it was the right place to have that, to be honest. It was just filling up the store, to be honest. Uh -huh. oh, there's George Who's and this guy? Uh, our friend Dave. Yeah. <laughs> George buying a gun. Buying a, yes. A Bond gun. Yes, yes. From Dave, who's a big James Bond collector. Yeah, nice condition that was, and it's uh, one with the silencer, you know, one, with the, ah, one yeah. with the extra bits, which are the pricey ones. Oh, cool. Because, of course, they're hard to sell. You stick those on eBay. They get, get they'll get taken down straight away. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Of course, George and I used to sell yeah. them in the shop. Not on German eBay. You can sell them on German Is eBay. Is that right? I believe. Yeah. Yes, so Dave was saying. Uh, that's but you, funny. you stick them on UK eBay. Nah, they get pulled. They get pulled. Interesting. So he, he was pleased to sell. 25 yeah. quid that was. Yeah, rare though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah especially with the anything with the attachments. I did not know that. They're yeah. the real, real, really tricky ones. Yeah. That's cool. A few nice items on this stool. Yeah. I think they were pricey again, but I don't think I bought anything, but it was nice to see. <laughs> that commerce set I really like, where you can sort of make your own commerce. Yes, it's a really nice it's set, cool. inventive set. Yeah. Not Particularly rare. No, no, I must have sold out. I yeah. might keep my eye out for a nice one of those. Yeah, you actually. can pick a decent one for, you know, not. it's not too wallet busting. No. Love the old Comma Vans. Yeah. They're brilliant. Now, oh, look, some vintage stuff. Oh, look, and they're not dear. Look, just, 60 quid, 100 quid. Just fancy that. There was a cloud cup on the end, 160. I actually think that was a pretty good price for really? that one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, it's the Kenner one rather than the British one, but yeah. And I didn't ask what was on his um, uh, cantina, but that's pretty rare yeah. in the UK. Yeah, the, oh, sorry, the Cloud City place there. Right. I mean, the, it was it's a bit knackered. It's only um, cardboard at the end. It's like right. three sheets of cardboard sort of thing. Yes. So <laughs> you don't get a lot for your money, <laughs> but it's one of those rare sets that hardly ever turns up right. over here. Because the box is being that scratched on the end, I sure. really wasn't that interested, but rare to see. Oh, that'd be 
could be one of the reissue action man box sets. Yeah. Some quite nice stuff. Yeah. Triangles. More Lego. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of Lego. But it sells, you know, it's got its fans. It does, yeah. I don't it really know. does have its fans. I don't know what sort of set they'd have to do to get me to buy one. <laughs> Sergeant Bilko. The Bilko set. Yeah, I might I'd go for that. Have that. <laughs> Rare Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. That's the end of things. That's sort of a fair somehow, but, you know, full marks for trying. Yeah. Last few stalls now. There you go. No reasonable offer refused. Mm. And that was sort of, you know, the story for some dealers there, you know. Yeah. And that's good. It's great for buyers, you know. Yeah. You go along, have a little bit of a haggle. Not much haggling required, to be honest. And, no, uh, it didn't seem to be. You know, you, 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 if you have 50 quid in your pocket, you could go along and have a good time at that fair. I think yeah. you could find a few bits. Yes, there were. Definitely. And uh, that alone, I think, is, makes it worth the trip. Yeah. Oh, some nice Marks figures there. Yeah. Yeah, this was one of the few stores with... Some um, real vintage This is stuff Steve Haynes' yeah. uh, store, got from Bristol. Yeah, he does have some nice stuff. He's not cheap. No, no. Unfortunately, he's, he's really not cheap. That is the case, yeah. A lot, of, the, lot of these yeah. items are on his, e, on his eBay store. Yeah. But uh, that's some nice stuff. He had a very nice... Um, you might, we might have gone past it, but mm. it was a very nice Man From Uncle game. All right. Target game. Yeah. Oh, that's rare. Brilliant. Well, when's the next one, Andy? November. November, yeah. November. Yeah. So hopefully, Early November. as long as I'm day off that day, I shall, uh, I shall be attending. Yeah. And uh, we'll go along again and see what we can find in the Christmas one, as it were. Yeah, it's for about the first week of November, I think. The first week of November. It's early. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone for watching today. Thanks, Andy, for coming along and having a look with me. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, and since it was only a few days ago, it's funny looking back at it. Yeah. Now. Um, if you have enjoyed it, do please give the video a thumbs up and do please hit the subscribe button if you're not already for regular Toy Fair action. And we'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye. Bye.